Hey guys, this is Safe Pucks 3 and today I'm doing a LEGO review on the 2011 uh, LEGO Space Center. Um, it was about $90 Canadian at the LEGO store. Let's get started with the minifigures. The first minifigure you get is um, sort of the rocket scientist. He has combed over hair and a brown beard and he has sort of like a suit on. Uh, with white sleeves, gray pants, and no printing on the back. Our next minute figure is an astronaut. Uh, she has a blue hat, um, sort of a normal, well, actually one of the only woman faces I've seen. Um, there it is, with sort of lipstick, she has lipstick on, and then on the space suit, she has the uh, space symbol, white pants, and an oxygen system on the back. And this, it also comes with a uh, space helmet, and you could just plop, well I epically failed there, but you can just plop the uh, space helmet on to her, like that, that's what it looks like, I think it's pretty cool. Next, we move on to the mechanic, and the mechanic has an orange hat, and uh, he also has sunglasses with a normal smiley face, a blue and uh, orange suit with blue pants, and no printing on the back. Our next minute figure is the male astronaut. He basically has the exact same things as the woman, a blue hat, normal smile, um, a space suit with a space symbol, white pants, and the oxygen system on the back. Alright, moving on to the uh, uh, transportation car, the mechanics car. Um, it has two light orange lights in the front with the license plate, two orange lights and the license plate on the back. And it has a steering wheel, two side steps, and there's the seat. It also has a black, a back platform, which you can store the helmet on. And it also has a orange caution light. Next, we move on to the satellite, which is breaking up uh, on me. There we go. Uh, it basically has, it consists of very small pieces. Um, and then it has two clear pieces with sort of uh, a grid design for the um, solar panels. That's basically it. And it folds right up like that. Moving on to the space, uh, the space command center. Um, it's basically a roof piece. It has basically a, a roof sized base plate which you can stick on I think any building. I haven't tested it out though. It has some lights on the front. It has some glass here that lifts up. Um, it has a satellite and it is supposed to have a rotating like a rotator on it so that it can move 360 degrees but I moved that to the chair so that it could move 360 degrees anyways inside here you have the chair the telephone the computer screen and then the mission screen moving on here we basically have the well it is the rocket move on here um, it comes with this platform and basically it just has some wheels and holes in the side so that it can lock into the platform and on the bottom here it has that and you just stick that in one of the holes and it stays up and on the rocket you have a sticky here that is not um, supposed to be there I had an extra sticker I guess for some random reason so I put that there um, it has the gas chamber and then it has the space symbol on each side and then as you go up, it has the uh, rocket number, um, 3368, that is the set number, I'm pretty sure. And then it has the actual space symbol. And you take the black cap off and try not to destroy the set. And if you move it sideways, you have where the astronaut sits. That, that actually is pretty cool when you put the astronaut in there. Um, and then also the satellite can go inside there. This is what it looks like with the astronaut sitting inside of it. Um, with the space helmet, I'll do that too. Or not. Oh, yeah, I will. There, that's what it looks like. And that sticks on there like I've already showed you. And you can also take the satellite and stick the satellite on there. And that stays pretty well. Um, moving on, we have, well, I'm first going to put this back together, if I can. 
There we go. So there it is. Back together. Um, and you can basically slide that in. One of the wheels came off for some random reason. Anyways, here you have the actual launch uh, platform. It has two spotlights, a keep clear on the road, some caution, um, some caution stripes, uh, and then it has a tool rack with two fire extinguishers, a uh, wrench, a hammer, a drill, and a oil thing. And also, it has a countdown clock on this side. It goes three, two, one, zero. And it has these uh, two locks here that can lock into place on the launch pad. If you slide that in, and it gets there, you can look right there. And it easily just goes, if I can get this. Sorry, hold on. Need to lift it because the one wheel fell off. So that goes in there. And then I can show you this one. There we go. Well, it's the wrong one, but that goes in like that. And then it's locked and it can't come out. And then you just pull them back to unlock it. And this comes off pretty easily. Then you have the Octane container um, with a little fuel switch here. And then you have an elevator, which on the back you can see, it goes up and down. So that easily lifts up. And it's not, if you let go of it, it'll fall. It stays right there if you want it to stay there. Um, it has some two tools on the side and a tower. And on the top it has a camera with um, two signal lights, I guess, right here. And then it has a gas pump, which comes out like that. Um, I think that's it. That is basically all. Um, if you have the moon space moon buggy set, um, and really, this is basically just, you can put this in space, or you can just, or it'll have to stay on the ground, because there's no way, as you can see, for it to possibly fit anywhere inside here. So I think you would need the space shuttle for it to actually fit inside there. So right now it's grounded. But yeah, um, this is a pretty nice set. I really wish it could have came with um, a little bit more minifigures. Or at least more astronauts. It came with the two, but it only came with the one helmet, which I thought was kind of weird. Like I would have thought it came, would have come with two helmets. Even though you can only fit one person in here, that's another complaint, is that you can only fit one person in there. I would have thought uh, you would be able to fit more people. Or if you were going to put it on a satellite mission, you can put the satellite maybe somewhere down here and then have somebody up here, but that doesn't work out either. Um, just a few minor problems, um, but you know that isn't enough to really have a really uh, debate about, but... I, I overall I, this was an amazing set. Um, definitely get it if you have the money. It costs about I think I've already said this ninety dollars at uh, Toys not Toys R Us the Lego store in Canada. And yep. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to me. And also subscribe to Lego Commander ninety nine and our dual channel, which is DB Productions ninety nine. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please rate. Comment and subscribe or just do all three. See ya.